living off of solar power is great. There's just something that feels really awesome about generating your own electricity from the power of the sun. Since making a series of videos on RV solar, I've gotten a lot of questions. But one question that continuously gets asked is, can you run your air conditioner on solar? And the short answer to that is yes. But the practicalities behind that answer aren't quite that easy. But before we dive into that and get all messy with numbers, let's review real quickly how RV solar works. Here's the basic diagram of how an RV solar system works. The solar panels keep the batteries charged, while the batteries supply power to everything in the RV. The batteries are wired directly to the 12 volt DC panel and therefore power all 12 volt electronics directly. The batteries are also able to supply power to 120 volt AC electronics through the inverter, which receives 12 volt DC current from the batteries converts it to 120 volts AC current and sends it on to power the 120 volt AC panel of the RV. This in turn supplies power to all 120 volt AC electronics, like the air conditioner. This is how our RV solar system is wired, so all AC loads can potentially be powered by our batteries, even our air conditioning. So really it's just a matter of how large your solar array needs to be to keep your batteries charged up, how large your battery bank needs to be to last through periods where the sun isn't shining, and how large your inverter needs to be to handle a hydro appliance like air conditioning. Now for a full explanation on how to size your entire RV solar system, go ahead and check out this link. But for now, we're just gonna focus on what we need to handle the air conditioning. Jenny and I have said in past videos that we can't use our air conditioning, and that's not entirely true. We just choose not to use it because it's such a high draw appliance, it will drain our 400 amp hour battery bank down to zero in under six hours. The air conditioning just uses so much electricity that we can't regularly use it. But if you can't live without AC, you can still make it happen with solar. So let's look at what it will take to run an air conditioner using solar. So with a few lights on and our inverter on, we're pulling about six amps from the batteries. And when we turn the air conditioner on, it quickly jumps up to 79 amps. That means our air conditioner alone is drawing 73 amps from the batteries. And for reference, our air conditioner is a 13,500 BTU model. So a quick check online showed that a 13,500 BTU RV air conditioner requires a starting amperage of 2,800 watts to 3,000 watts. So it's really not advisable to regularly start an air conditioner with a 3,000 watt inverter. You're probably gonna wanna go with a 3,500 watt or even a 4,000 watt inverter to have some leeway. So we've already seen that our air conditioner draws 73 amps. Now if we wanna run our air conditioner for five hours a day, that means it's gonna draw 365 amp hours from the batteries. Now to replenish that, our solar panels are gonna to need to make 52 amps for seven hours straight every day. That means that we're gonna to need to have a bare minimum of 750 watts of solar panels on top of the wattage of solar panels we need to run everything else in the RV. And for sizing your battery bank to handle air conditioning, since our air conditioner draws 73 amps, you're gonna to need to increase the capacity of your battery bank by 73 amp hours for every hour that you plan on running your air conditioner during the nighttime or during cloudy days. So to summarize all that, if you wanna run a 13,500 BTU air conditioner off solar, you're gonna need a 3,500 to 4,000 watt inverter. You're gonna to need to add 750 watts of solar panels on top of what you need to run everything else in the RV and you're gonna to need to add 73 amp hours of battery bank capacity for every hour that you wanna run your air conditioner after the sun sets and on cloudy days. Now, if any of that didn't make sense to you or how I figured any of that, again, you can go ahead and check out this link and it'll take you to the video where I explain in depth how to size a solar system. So really it's just a question of, is it worth it to you to be able to run your air conditioner on solar? And does your RV have the space required for the huge battery bank and the large amount of solar panels you're gonna need? Our RV isn't. We've already got the maximum amount of batteries we can have without cutting more into our storages. And our roof isn't very big, so we can only have so many panels up there. Jenny and I just move with the weather and stay where the climate is mild for whatever season it is. And if it gets really bad, we do have a portable generator that we can fire up and run the AC just to clear out the hot air on warm nights, but we're yet to even use it for that purpose. So the answer to the question, can you run your air conditioner on solar? Yes, you can, but it's gonna be expensive and it's gonna take up a lot of room. 
And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos from us, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want more details on what we talked about today, go ahead and check out the link to the blog post in the description below. I'll catch you guys later.